What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. And today we are back with a very easy going video. We need to do a bit of maintenance on our 3D printers. You know, they have been printing a ton of cosplay. As you can see, the CR10 is over here going. That is a thigh piece for my Lich King armor. There's another CR10 right over here that is doing the exact same thing for the opposite leg. But our Ender 3 is offline at the moment because it needs a little bit of love. So we're gonna go ahead and clean a few things up on it. Go ahead and lubricate the uh, Z-Rod and we're going to be using Super Lube here to do this, you know. So let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> So as I said, we are going to be cleaning up our Ender 3 today, V2. There is a ton of just like plastic debris that is all around the printer just from, you know, prints basically. And the Z-Rod, I will show you guys in a second, is a little dark on a few areas and that's because the grease that was there is now attracting dirt. So we're gonna clean that off, apply some new lube and hopefully it'll actually do it. It was making like a squeaking sound that I'm hoping we can get rid of by lubing it up. So let's jump into it. <laughs> All right guys, so hopefully you can see it here. I'm gonna try to get in a little bit closer for you guys. Focus it up. Let's see if it will do it. One second. Yes, it's having a little bit of trouble. Basically here on the Z-Rod, there is a bit of black buildup. I know it's kind of difficult to see because of the lighting, but there's a bit of black buildup and we're gonna go ahead and try to remove that. So let's do that. All right, so the first we're gonna do, make sure we have our gloves on. I'm also gonna be using, you know, a few Q-tips and we're gonna use some paper towels. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and wipe everything down. So using some paper towels here. We're just gonna be cleaning up this Z-Rod here. And let's see if we can go ahead and get everything off as much as we can. All right, so now that everything is wiped down, you can see we have all the grease build up on here along with all the dirt. So we've wiped that all clean and that will hopefully help the, um, ah, the rod ease basically through all the transitions. So now that this is clean, this will hopefully help the gantry slide up and down a lot easier. Um, you will also notice that if you 3D print regularly, you'll see a lot more buildup here at the bottom than you will at the top. And that's because the you know gantry slides more along this general area than it does this area. So that's what you'll see more build up here as compared to here. We are going to go ahead and remove all the debris from the underside of the bed. All right, as you can see, we are underneath the bed and this is all just like junk that has built up over the course of me 3D printing. Like there's just a lot of junk. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum all that out and then move on to the next step. All right, so as you guys can see now, it is a lot cleaner. We got everything moved out from under there, all the excess printing material from my past job. So we are good to go here. Now the next step is to go ahead and move back to our Z-Rod, which is behind the large black rod here and oil it up. So let's get to that. And just in case you guys were wondering how you move the Z-axis, we just go over here to prepare. Then we go to move Z-axis and Let's move the camera. As you guys can see, it's on Z there. The extruder and the gantry all the way down. We're going to move the Z axis. Let's just say, well, we're going to click it and then move it up to, let's just say 200. Boom, hit enter or whatever. Click it and the gantry is now moving up to 200 millimeters. So we're going to let it finish. This again is the lube that I'm using, Super Lube. I will go ahead and link that for you guys, multi-purpose synthetic grease. Go ahead and open you up. Hopefully it's not too close to the camera. Yep, just place it on the bed. Then we're just gonna take a bit of grease and dab it here onto our Q-tip. 
just set that down. And then we're just going to apply it in various areas across our rod. So let's do that. All right, and there you have it. Just basically a little bit of grease. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to moving our um, Z axis back up and down so that the grease will be distributed throughout. All right, as you can see, our gantry is sliding up ever so slowly and the grease is going along with it. It's just being distributed out throughout the whole rod and it sounds a lot smoother. As I can tell you guys, it was doing some squeaking and it just wasn't happy. So now it's at the top, we're gonna send it back down. All right, so there you have it, a quick and easy process to lubricate your machines. I'm using this, what is it called? Super Lube Multipurpose Synthetic Grease. This works for your CR10s, it works for your um, Ender 3s. Also, I mean, I don't have a printer that has basically a horizontal bar, you would have to lubricate that too. Um, I don't have a printer that has that, but just know that that's something else you would have to do, but I digress. This is all that basically there is, and it's good to do as it stops a lot of the friction and probably some of like the banding and stuff you'll see. All that can contribute to just bad print, so definitely lubricate your machines. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. Again, I will link this product for you as it's great. And until next time, stay balanced. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>